Welcome to the bedbug chamber. This is the room where we simulate bedbug infestations. I'm about to release hundreds of bedbugs into this room, and then I'm going to sleep in this bed. But this is no ordinary bed. This is the good night, a bed we designed specifically for dealing with bedbugs. Before this room is crawling with bedbugs, let me show you how this works. The good night transforms into a heat chamber to sterilize your bed. And with the turn of the dial, you can start your heat treatment. Once the treatment is done, the good night shuts off automatically, and you can be sure that your bed is bed bug free. And now your bed is ready to sleep in. But what if there are other bed bugs in the room that weren't killed in the bed? After the good night has sterilized your bed, it's also designed to protect you as you sleep. If any bed bugs were crawling around and trying to get into the bed, they would crawl along the floor and they would try to get up, but they wouldn't get past these traps. So we're going to put 98 of them right on the bed. There we are. Um, I'll put 88 in this corner over here. And I'll put 90 in this corner here. Bed bugs here in the corner, as well as over here. Here, here you can see uh, there, there's a, a number of bed bugs here. So I did a count. There's 1, 10, 20, 21, 22. Here, but 
And, and you can see that here there's a, a bunch on the, on the wood. I would not want to sleep in this bed bug infested room without the good night. And I'm going to count out about a hundred more to release right now. Just counted out on another hundred and four live bed bugs here. And so I'm going to release them in the room uh, that I'm sleeping in right now. And this is kind of scary because these guys I am not painting to see if they behave differently. I can tell you that they're already behaving differently from the other package that we received in the mail. Uh, these guys are way more lively, so uh, we might see some interesting things with them. I'll release them over here at the head of the bed. And I'm going to do it from the safety of the bed. So here we go. And that's all of them. So there's my bed bugs, um, and I think I'm going to call it a night, and hopefully I sleep well. Thanks. After sleeping in the good night for several nights now, um, I haven't had any bites, which is a really good sign. It means that the bed is working as we intended. It's killed all the bed bugs that we put into the bed and it's stopping any bed bugs in the room from crawling up and biting me at night. Now, um, in a real bed bug infestation, we would suggest all kinds of things uh, to deal with the bed bugs that are left around in the room, um, such as caulking seams and using diatomaceous earth. Uh, you could find all these tips online, but for the sake of this experiment, we wanted to um, we wanted to do strictly using the good night, so not using any other means of intervention. So to get rid of the bed bugs that are left in the room faster, uh, we found that uh, before you go to sleep, if you take some extra blankets or some spare clothing, um, anything, anything that makes a really nice, you know, hiding place for bed bugs to crawl into. And you just spread it out around the bed. So that way, when you sleep in the bed, any bed bugs that try to crawl up and they can't find their way into the bed, they end up in here by the morning. So then, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to take a plastic bag, like this, and you're just going to gather up the blanket and put it into the plastic bag. Try to get the air out. And then this just goes into the uh, into the good night for when you do the treatment. Um, a good idea if you want to make sure that it's nice and thoroughly heat treated is you put um, some sort of rack. We supply the racks also. And you just put your uh, your blankets on that and then when you do the heat treatment you're going to sterilize everything including what's in the blankets. So over the last few days we've been collecting as many uh, dead bud bugs as we could um, just to keep track of where we're finding them dead and um, how many approximately are still alive in the room. Um, so uh, these here's the jar of a whole bunch of bed bugs that we've collected so far. Um, well when the bed heats up, the bed bugs, they naturally try to go down and so you, they'll accumulate uh, not in your bed itself but down below and you could uh, probably find them, you could vacuum them up. We've been uh, collecting a lot of them from the heat chamber after the treatment um, but not so much after like the first release and the, mo the majority of the bed bugs um, that we're catching now are coming from the room 
and they're coming into these blankets uh, that we placed down by the bed. 